Okay, welcome you all with love. And as usual, we'll start out with meditation and then a little bit of a, a talk. So the technique of meditation, sit quietly, witness what goes on, repeat the uh, mantra, which the one I give you, or if you have your own, that's fine, is yod on the in-breath, hey, and the out-breath, wa, and then breath, hey, and the out-breath. Yod from the base to the heart, hey, out to the heart. Wa from the base to the third eye, hey, out to the heart. And we just simply keep repeating it till our mind is quiet. So that's what we're doing. So we're going to go right into meditation, and we'll end it with a, a yod. So the energy comes in, the cosmic energy comes in through me, and then out to my eyes, into you. I am always surprised how powerful this is, that it really does work. The energy is communicated and can awaken and does awaken the Kundalini. Uh, what I learned in uh, November 20th, Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, that kind of weekend, each month we do a meditation retreat, and I am very uh, surprised, but very pleased, that at least 90% of the people have the Kundalini awaken. So I know this works, so let's go, let's play, here we go. Just kind of let the energy come through and through my eyes and to you. And now we'll meditate for about 10 minutes. Here we go.
E eu slowly come out of meditation. So the theme here today is return. What is it that we're returning to? We're returning to the truth of who we are. <clears throat> we're returning to the self. Returning to the awareness of God in all things. That return is what allows and what will allow the world to also return to God. It's one thing to worry about the globalists, blame it all on them, but that isn't what's going on. When we choose to return to our own soul, when we choose to return to the one in all things and see the one in all things, then the whole world, if there's enough people, the whole world will return to God. And, and, and everybody does it in a different way. That's okay. That We're not talking about only one way. We're talking about return to God. And at that point, the power of uh, forces that want to enslave us, going all the way back thousands of years, um, will be ended. We're always in the struggle. You know, uh, the forces are always trying to enslave the people. And Nimrod was the first one after Noah who was trying to enslave the whole world. Abraham the boundary crosser, which is what we need to be, the one who saw God, experienced God externally and internally, big breakthrough, because people knew of a cosmic God, but not an internal God, that Abrahamic energy defeated Nimrod. You know, Abraham went into hiding for 19 years, but eventually he had to, to meet and confront Nimrod. Nimrod says, don't you know I'm the Lord of the world? And, so, and, and Abraham says, oh yeah, okay, tomorrow make the sun rise in the west instead of the east. Well, he, he completely defeated Nimrod directly, but then Abraham, they, he threw him in the, in the furnace, but Abraham didn't burn. But he did realize he needed to leave the area because that wasn't going to work out so well. But ultimately, Nimrod is defeated. Nimrod, the capture of souls. And Nimrod keeps being reincarnated. Some people think Nimrod will be the, quote, the Antichrist, <clears throat> be reincarnated as the Antichrist. But as long as we return to the self, as Abraham did, and know the truth of who we are, we ultimately can't be enslaved. No new world order or globalist, whatever you want to call it, can stand against the truth of God. And even in the end of the story, many of those people will wake up to the truth of God in their lives because that is so delicious, so wonderful, so powerful. It is actually the real source of power, that non-causal love, non-causal joy, non-causal peace, that's a real source of peace. That's a real source of joy. It isn't how many people you can dominate, or how much money you accumulate. That's not what we're talking about. It's return to the self. And that power of awakening is the big return. It's my personal belief that this big return we're going to see more and more of it happening. It's even starting now, but in the next year or two, I think we're going to see something very, very profound where all this stress is happening, the COVID lockdown, this, that, and the other thing. It's like return to the self. Now, when you really return to the self, as I write in my book, Into Nothing, the first 33 years of my life was spent trying to understand the mystery of death. And after having the spiritual energy Raha Kadesh Kundalini awakened, it got clear to me the self is immortal. 
There may be a death of physical body, but the self is immortal. When you really get that, I mean, when you really get it, okay, that's the place where fear goes away. That's the place where fear goes away. We're not worried about COVID. We're not worried about this. We're not worried about because there's no death for the self. The self is immortal. And that's the big return. When enough people get it, then the whole world will become a shining light of the divine. So people interested going a little further, we do, uh, you have my book, uh, Into the Nothing, Spiritual Autobiography, and uh, you can get it at a variety of places, you can get it on Amazon, but uh, really you can get it from drcousins.com or you can get it from treeoflife.mn.co uh, you can get it uh, you know those are kind of main places that all refer you to uh, the, the next kind of <clears throat> place we can get it directly so the big return may you be blessed that you have the big return in your life hope to see you in November a weekend of number 20th as we get more and more involved in the big return. Peace be with you. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Shanti, shanti, shanti. Om Adakyo Asan. Aho.